Welcome back everybody, I'm Dexter with Current Connected. Today we're going to be working on the EG4 FlexBoss 21. I have the screen kit and we're going to be teaching you how to install it. Let's jump into what's in the box. It's pretty simple. First thing we have are two various different lengths of power cords. It includes two couplings. Under some packaging is a hanging bracket. There are a total of four of these clips for the wire going to the screen. And then we have the screen, of course, the star of today's show. Now this inverter is on my bench just for demonstration purposes. However, if you had this installed in a system, you would want to make sure to first turn off your batteries so that way it's safe to work in the inverter, as well as any sources like PV or grid. With that out of the way, we can open the door and that gets us access to the wiring compartment. In here, there are three screws, one here on the left-hand side and two right by the circuit breaker. Those are easily removed with a Phillips screwdriver. With those three screws removed, the black plastic protective cover comes out, gaining us access to the wiring compartment. For this next part, I'll be using the long extension cable and one of the couplers. First thing I'm going to do is unsnap the two clips that hold the connector in, and then plug the connector in until those clips snap back into place. With this connector prepared, we take our attention to the circuit board. You'll notice there are a total of three ribbon cables in here. Two of them you can easily just grab and pull down out of our way, giving us access to the third connector at the top. This is the smallest connector on the top of this circuit board. The two plastic clips on either side push out, releasing the wire that is in there. And now this wire can plug into our coupler. One thing to pay attention to is the little tab on the bottom of this connector. That needs to go into the recess on the coupler until the coupler snaps into place. It's very important to make sure these line up so that everything is going in the right direction. From here, those wires we pulled down a moment ago can get tucked back up in the inverter. And now this connector is ready to go through our front cover. Now normally you would get all of your wiring in place before putting this cover on, but we want to cut to the chase and show you plugging this into the screen and getting the screen mounted. For demonstration purposes, I connected a set of power cables and now we're ready to put the black cover back on so I can feed the wire through this opening here on this protective cover and then stick the cover back into its original location. Again, typically you wouldn't have these wires running out of the front. We just did that temporarily today for demonstration purposes. Um, but from here, we're good to put the screws back in. Plugging the connector down into the screen is a little bit more of a challenge. It's kind of deep in there. It has these same plastic clips that need to be opened to allow the wire to enter. Now we can plug that ribbon cable into there just like on the other end. Now looking at the screen on the back side, there aren't really mounting holes, but we have two small holes here and that is where the little hanging bracket I showed earlier would go. The bracket that I mentioned is included earlier, just lines up with those screws, and then two Phillips screws install in the holes. With that connector plugged in, now it's time to mount the screen, and this is honestly, I think, the hardest part of this whole process. Naturally, I want to mount it right there and just hang it off the screw of the battery on-off switch, but this screw's not actually long enough. You can't actually bite any of the threads on it. And in some of the videos I've seen, guys have used uh, Velcro and Velcroed it to the door here, but my unit didn't come with Velcro, so I'm not sure if that's included or something that they added. However, in the bottom of my toolbox, I found this little tiny screw that is the exact right metric threads here. And I know this is not exactly normal for everybody to have, but I was able to find it and it kind of saves the day because I can swap out this screw here on the bottom of the battery breaker with this one and it's just long enough to where I have enough thread engagement that sticks out to where I can hang this screen right here on it, tighten that screw down, and now this screen is actually pretty well held in place. And uh, while I realize this is not quite ideal, I think it works here. Other than that, we have our plastic clips that we can install. The sticky back comes off, it clips over this cable, and now we can secure that cable out of the way just like that. There are a total of four clips installed. In this case, I'm just going to use the one. However, it's up to you how uh, exactly you want to secure the wire. The manual is not very specific on that. From here, I turned on some power from a power supply. So we can turn on the circuit breaker to power on the inverter. 
And you can see the screen is lighting up. That means it's working. From here, this screen behaves a lot like the 18K PV screen, and we'll save that for a different video. But uh, yeah, now you're good to go. If you didn't have the wires hanging out the bottom like I have, you could shut the door and you would be good to go. Other than that, we have purchase links for the Flexboss screen kit and the Flexboss 21 in the description down below. And hey, if you like helpful videos, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.